Today we're doing a little quick lesson on factoring quadratics with perfect squares. What does that mean? Well, if you remember multiplying polynomials or doing FOIL, as a teacher probably or referred to it at one point in your history, you had this type of problem, maybe, maybe not. And you're like, what? So originally you probably did uh, 3 uh, to the second power, which is 9x squared, and then you did 6 times... Uh, 6 which is 36 and you're like I'm done and they were like that's not even right so you had to mark that out and realize that that really meant this and then you had to do this times this and get 9x squared plus 18x plus 18x plus 36 and it came out to give you something along the lines of this those are the good old days. Now we're going to do it backwards when we factor. So it looks something like this. Now this is pretty easy to do. It's just the idea that can you see it ahead of time, you'll be in good shape. If you notice, n squared is a square. Well, 16 is also a square because 4 times 4 gives you 16. Or, I mean, really in math it means that you have a, this is the worst drawn square ever, so just use your imagination. If I take 16 blocks, and also you're going to have to pretend like these blocks are the same size, sorry, um, I can make a perfect square with sides 4 by 4 with 16 blocks. That's where the square thing comes in in math, by the way. Just because I haven't beaten that in your head enough. Now, um, so it's really the square root of 16 is 4. So the short method to do this without having to think of it is that if you can realize that these uh, signs are the same, or that the sign is supposed to be the same, so this one says I'm going to use same size, this is or plus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can use the information to get n plus 4 and n plus 4. To do it the long way to make sure that you know how to do it, which is the way I've been talking about ad nauseum in previous episodes, um, I don't have to move anything, so this isn't a slide and divide, so I just have to factor. I look at the second sign first, it says plus. Uh, this first sign says there, so since this is plus, the signs are both the same. They're both plus because the first sign says plus. If this were minus, they'd be different signs. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to write n plus. n plus. Now, from here, I'm going to do a factor list for 16. And since these are the same, I'm going to look to find something that adds up to 8. So I've got 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. Well, 4 plus 4 is 8. You will notice that n plus 4 and n plus 4 are the same thing. So you can rewrite the answer as this. And that is the huge uh, perfect squares thing that seems so complicated, and it's really not. They don't want the answer to look like this. They want the answer to look like this. That's what the books want. Let's do one more, and then we're done. This is a short one. If you sat through the other thing about quadratic equations. This is a short one because those things were wicked long. Now, in this case, the first thing I want to do is make sure I pull out any common factors because when I factor quadratics, the first thing I do is pull out any common factors. Uh, nothing goes into all of them so, except for one and then uh, just one basically, so that's it. The next step would be to slide. So I am going to slide. I've got a number in front of that b squared. So I'm going to slide this over here. I'm going to circle the 9. I almost forgot to. Uh, that would mean I'm going to multiply 9 times 4 and get 36. Everything else just comes down a little bit. Now I'm going to, the next thing I need to do is factor the numbers. So I'm going to look at the second sign. That second sign is a plus. So as you can see, the answers are going to be the same. The answer uh, when I write it out. The first sign says negative, so if the first sign is negative and they're the same, that means they're both x minuses, or in this case, b minuses. Then I need to do a factor list for 36. And these are the same, so I'm going to look for something that adds up to this number. I've got 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, hey, and hopeful, but no. Uh, 9 and 4, that looked good, didn't it? didn't work. Um, 6 and 6. There it is. 6 plus 6 gives you 12. I lost my mind there. Sorry about that. 
And that was a little weird for a second what happened. Um, so I've got this situation occurring where I've got six for both of them. Now, I did the slide, I did the factor. All I need to do now is the divide part. I'm going to take this nine and divide both. As you can see, once I reduce them, make sure you reduce them first. If you have a fraction calculator, just put it in. If not, just reduce it in your head. Most calculators, a TI-84, by the way, if you're using a TI-84+, plus, if you hit the alpha button and the Y equals button, a little pop-up menu comes up and da-da-da-da, there's the fraction menu, just in case you didn't know that. If you're using the 73s, like I use in our class, um, it's on the front of the calculator. shouldn't be too hard to find. So I reduced it down, and this didn't reduce out enough, or it didn't come into a whole number, so I've got to bump this 3 up here because in order to get divide by 3 I've got a times can't leave fractions so 3b minus 2 3b minus 2 magically they're both the same so my answer is just going to be 3b minus 2 squared it's more like that's just how they want you to write the answer you know systems the same shouldn't be a big deal uh, so good luck